fantastic. For the specialist marine consultants limited open maiden race. Once again, 19 obstacles in the way of the now seven winner maiden. First of two maidens on the programme. They head to the first. One for Silky is handy. Wagner was a bit awkward at the back of the field. And Emery and John Dawson are going to lead them past us from one for Silky. Alan Gear taking a keen hold. And without more ado, that's the leading quartet, the final trio after a break of three lengths comprised of Sting River, Clash Gunny, and the back marker is Wagner. So slightly on the descent to the three fences going away from us. Emery is just in front of one for Silky, Alam Gear, and without more ado, and then this break to the remaining trio, Sting River, who is a bit right-handed at that fence, just in front of Flash Ganny and Wagner. They cross over the third. That time it was Alan Gear, who may have just touched down in front from Emery. One for Silky taking a lead from the front two now. Without more ado, is a close fourth. Clash Ganny, Sting River and Wagner. That was the fourth they've just crossed over. Now they have a brief run before they'll make another turn into the back straight. Fence number five. Shortly comes after the turn. Alam Gear and Samantha Clug by a couple of lengths over John Dawson aboard Emery. Jack Teal and without more ado on the outside just in third place on meeting the next plane fence. Then comes Lottie Crane on one for Silky. The trouble seeking William East to be next on Flash Ganny. And the final couple are Sting River and Wagner. So over the open ditch on the first of two occasions. And in the main, these maidens jumping well. They come to the next turn. They put to the row of fences seven, eight, nine. They go towards them. It's going to be Alan Gear that will turn the field along by a couple of lengths, being followed by Emery and without more ado, facing a bit wider than those two. Slower as well than the leading duo. Then comes one to Silky, being followed by Clash Gunny Sting River and the held of Wagner. Now the eighth of the 19, Alan Gear, Emery and without more ado. And this little gap to the forerunners, Clash Ganny, Wonka Silky, Sting River, and the Sheepskin Notes and Wagner. Now the ninth of the 19, Alan Gear, just shortened up going into that fence. Without more ado, has made steady progress throughout the final half mile or so, and goes up to just shade second from Emery as they spin off the turn and go past the point from where they were dispatched. The leading trio still being hunted up by one for Silky. Sting River more towards this side, Clash Ganny and Wagner as they cross over the fence. That will be the final one next time. And again, these maidens all jumping well. And Wagner racing just a tad green at the back of the field but has responded to the slap down the shoulder as they go by us. And it's at this point that without more ado is ranged alongside Alam Gear with a circuit to go. So they head on the descent towards the 11th, 12th, 13th fences. And it's without more ado on the outside of Alan Gear. Emery is a close third. One for Silky at the inside of the improving Wagner. And then comes Clash Ganny and Sting River. They jump the next. Emery was uh, not that fluent at that fence. And now they go on towards the middle of the trio of fences racing away from us. Without more ado, has gone on by a length now from Alan Gear. One for Silky was a bit slow and is now being urged along as Wagner is making progress just to track Emery in about third or fourth position. Clash Ganny is very much in touch. King River is just last at the seven and there Wagner has made a mistake in his unseated rider. So he had just been a little bit novice at one or two of the fences. But we now are down to six as they cross the first of the two fences down the far side. And without more ado, as opposed to two length lead from Emery into second, Alan Gear drops back, is at one pace in third. Clash Gaddy is trying to run on a bit. Then comes one for Silky as they go towards the open ditch for the final time. 
Sting River is last of the six runners now as they jump the open ditch and now they really are well spaced out. Sting River blundered and looks likely to be pulled up before leaving the back straight. There's a big margin now between first and last as they travel towards the fourth from home and it's without more ado under Jack Teal by a couple of legs. Chase is second by Emery and John Dawson as they cross over the fourth from home. Flash Ganny is going into a uh, it's a third place but would be about seven lengths behind the leader. Alan Gill at one pace and then comes one to Silky. So running on towards the third from home. And it's without more ado who's slowed it going into that. And Emery has bridged the gap to just a length. Clash Ganny all the while has been under pressure for a, at least two or three fences but he is staying on and he's about maybe five, six lengths behind the leader but without more ado has quickened up on the run towards two from home and has gone three or four lengths ahead now. So heading back towards the final fence, we've got just over a further and a half the race from this point. And Jack Teal aboard, without more ado, bidding for a double on the day, his first ride for, um, he had a seven week break through injury, and it looks likely that his two comeback rides could be winners, providing he jumps the last one without more ado, who jumps it in great style and is clicking up really well. Without more ado for the Roger Marley Yard, is a good 10 lengths ahead, this looks a promising mate, up towards the finish, without more ado from Emery in second, Clash Gaddy has plugged on at the one pace in third, and Alan Gear will be last of the four finishers.